And another thing, um, I just want to field any kind of speculation or rumors. Uh, it's hard to explain here. Uh, I don't know who gives me this energy, but it's probably the same kind of energy that uh, like Jamie Foxx would have, or Oprah, or anyone who has uh, been through some kind of trauma or injustice. And yes, I consider myself, you know, in you know, in their um, their league, so to speak. Uh, I mean, Oprah during an interview could not watch scenes from that movie. Uh, talk about the Jamie Foxx movie, uh, the new one coming out on January nineteenth. Um, yes, I think that's the driving force behind me. I don't know what to label me as. I don't know if I'm a comedian. Because I don't like to stick to any certain thing. Where's my coffee? Uh, yes, this is all energy. Uh, when I used to perform, when I was a performer, uh, I used to watch all the other performers. And I used to watch the crowd. Uh, so I was good at doing, like, theater arts performance in a way. I mean, when I did my plays, I wasn't... I mean, you could tell I really didn't fit into the play, but I got laughs. I mean, when I when I played Speed on The Odd Couple, you know, my parents were out there, relatives were in the audience. Gail is on Skype. Oh, I got my Skype thing on here. I'm sorry. We were waiting for a friend here in Africa here. Cannot pronounce your name. I can spell it. But yeah, we'd like to have you on the show. Um, that'd be great. Things will happen. Uh, I'm just holding it down here. It's tough. It's tough when, like, there's people watching that know they can help you. You know, just like, you know, when they had all those tapes there that they went and did for me. And then my cousin had to step in and say, no, don't be associated with him. You know, that was a sad day in my life. That was a really, really. It was. It was great. It was sad. And it, w it was awakening. It was all of that. To to find out, like, wow, these people think that of me. And to realize, they're not there for you. They're not. They're not there whatsoever. Because it just. And if you knew the things that happened, because I I talked to the dad and I said, you know, dad, they're dead. Not the dad of the girl. You know, who said don't do it. Because they blamed it on the dad. And the dad said, I had no idea what was going on. And don't worry about it. But we talked about it. But you can tell there's always gatekeepers. Always people are going to try to stop you from doing what you're doing. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at, uh, you know, standing up to bullies. You know? Because I've been the underdog. I've been like Jamie Foxx. I've been like Oprah. I've been like whoever. Think of a, a sad story or uh, coming back from, like, huge odds. And by the way, this is the Peppermint York Kramer. I don't know. I don't want to spill it. Sometimes here on the floor during a show, you will see some kind of, you know, these floors are hardwood, and also on these floors, because I used to play the drums in here, and the bass drum used to be, you know, used to move all over. There's so many designs in there. I mean, you can almost see all, whatever. I, I, you know, I thought I seen Jesus on there or something. <laughs>